Welcome back to Knights of the World number five. Today we have joining us Katya R.V. Reed. How are you doing today? I'm good. And how are you? Great. So to kind of get right into things, so can you kind of explain to the audience like where you're from and kind of your backstory? Well, let's see. I'm originally from New York. I'm a multi-artist. I do uh, animation, filmmaking, fashion, and music, and I'm also an author. Um, yeah. Uh, okay, so uh, <laughs> like, how, like, where, where, uh, where'd you go for school? So I went to school at Leslie University, where I got my BFA in animation, and then I also attended the New York Conservatory for. Um, dramatic arts for a year and I also went to some acting studios and I also have done uh, many internships in both fashion mm -hmm. and film. So can you explain to us like can you tell us what a BFA is and like how, uh, the things you had to go through to achieve it? Well BFA is typically given for people who study for four years um, and it's like kind of a, a high degree for visual arts. I got mine for animation um, and you just attend the university and do it for four years. <laughs> if you can survive all the workloads, boy, oh boy, was that some hard times. <laughs> but yeah, and then you come out with the degree and it's supposed to help you get uh, a job in the field, mm -hmm. but that doesn't always work out quite that way. <laughs> Sometimes you got to make your own way and pave your own path. Yep. Exactly. So uh, what, what are some of the hobbies that you have? Like, what do you do in your free time? My free time? Well, let's see. I do a lot. <laughs> I like video games, which mm -hmm. is awesome. I like grew up on them from like Nintendo to the latest. And um, I also like to study the sky and the space. So before I was an artist, I kind of wanted to be an astronaut too somewhere along the way, but I changed mm -hmm. my mind when that space shuttle blew up and I decided gravity is quite nice. Yeah. So I'll study it from here. So I do that for fun too. I like to analyze the stars and planets and theories and all that kind of stuff. And I like nature walks too. I like to be in nature. It helps me uh, breathe easier and enhances my creativity. So that's always fun to do too. And I like to do like, I like to just go places and see things and explore. That's me, I'm very adventurous. Mm -hmm. Those are some of the things I like to do. So what are the, some of the things that you've like, so you got a BFA and what were some of the things like you've made or performed or like, yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I've made a, a quite a, large body of work, uh, which I do showcase on um, what I call Victory Scene Studios. So it's kind of like my home for all of my art and creations. Mm -hmm. So I'm those kind of artists that are a create at will hybrid artist, if you will, because you do more than one thing. Mm -hmm. And um, so I've performed all kinds of things, both like on stage. I've done like monologue slams. Those were fun. Um, I've also done some filmmaking too, little indie films and everything. And I've also done a uh, work for my own film projects, such as Gordon's Quest, which is um, something I've been working on since I was nine years old. And um, ever since I've been creating it and developing it. And I've, I've worked alongside really amazing actors mm -hmm. and actresses. And I've met a lot of amazing people along the way in that journey. So. Those are some of the things I've done. I also have like a background in ballet too. So I performed on stage with that. That was very fun. I'm an all around artist, so. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you've, you've done a lot of things. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so what what are some of the, like, can you tell us about some of the books you've read, written? Um. Well, my very first book just came out recently, uh, titled The Foretold Story, book one, part one. Mm -hmm. And that is a trilogy. However, it's four books because book one was cut into two parts. Mm -hmm. um, so that's the very first book series I have. I do have other ones too, but those are not out yet. I just want to start with finishing this. Well, it's already finished. It's just mm -hmm. 
putting it out and everything. So that's really awesome um, on that end. And alongside with that, I do have a, a cinematic uh, film, a uh, set of film scripts that I've written for the larger story with of this book series, which again, I talked about it earlier, Gordon's Quest. Mm -hmm. um, that thing I've been working on all my life. <laughs> <laughs> So, like, since you're an author, obviously you enjoy reading. So, what what's the favorite book or book series you've ever read? Like, read. <laughs> I read a lot of things, but I'd have to say my favorite book is not quite a book. It's more of a Japanese comic. Mm -hmm. The series, um, The Legend of Zelda, by Akira. Uh, I hope I'm saying the name right. Akira Hikinawa. Mm -hmm. uh, the Twilight Princess, hands down. But yeah, that's like my favorite comic books. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I know earlier you said you like, uh, you really like video games and stuff. So what are some of the favorite video games that you've played? <laughs> Legend of Zelda, hands down. And I also like um, Final Fantasy, but more specifically Final Fantasy X, because that was like a cinematic groundbreaking video game mm -hmm. that I like shaped video games i know the only one i've played is the like the og ones for like the nintendo and stuff like that like oh. the old pixelated ones i haven't played any of the newer ones oh those, those old ones are hard <laughs> yeah I, it was it was confusing i i typically give up th like after the first couple levels and then i'd be like yeah no i'm getting bored this is too hard <laughs> oh yeah it is hard i don't know why maybe I don't know. I just haven't been able to like beat one of those older video games. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I I love video games. So what's some of your uh what's what's one of your favorite moments from like doing your uh like filming and stuff like that, working with the actors and stuff? <laughs> um. Well, I've had a lot of funny favorite moments actually, both from the very bitter parts of it to the sweetest parts. Just the whole journey and process. Mm -hmm. Um. I would say because it's, um, let's see, I'm trying to think. What's my favorite moment? I think my favorite moment would have to be when we were trying to get this one shot and we kind of got chased off the property. <laughs> it's called guerrilla, guerrilla filmmaking, which was fun. But we did it and it was awesome. <laughs> that, that, that would be pretty hilarious. Yeah, I've had a lot of those hilarious moments. <laughs> it it, it comes, it shows up in my book a lot. Those kind of funny, quirky moments that mm -hmm. you can't quite explain. But yeah, that was one of my favorite parts. I also like to see like all the actors in action when they're just just to see my characters come to life through them. Mm -hmm. It's amazing. So that was another part that was awesome. I also like directing too. That's really fun. Mm -hmm. um and i love the aftermath of like the editing and doing like all the, the animation and the art because i do all the animation and mm -hmm. all the art as well and it's just it's just fun i love it when that's what art is so do you do 2d animation or 3d animation i do 2d but i am currently learning up the 3d so mm -hmm starting to get a hang of that one it's a little more complex but yeah it adds yeah. an extra dimension oh yeah but it's good to know uh -huh. <laughs> so what's some advice you would give to people listening to this right now advice i would give to people is um make your mark so uh i'll tell you the story i always tell it to like everybody i meet mm -hmm. but um sometimes in life things will come up against you. You you know, you have a dream. I had a dream since I was a, a little girl to do um, all this art and to make these creations come to life and everything. And, and life happens and I didn't come from, um, you know, I, I come from small, very small and very humble beginnings and life is still very humbling even now. Mm -hmm. But um, you have to, There'll be times when you want to give up and you don't want to uh, keep going. 
but you have to remember that you have to make your mark. Um, my fourth grade teacher, Mrs. Robbins, is the one who taught me that, of the make your mark. Um, it happened a couple of years ago when I was out of school um, and things were just a little hard during mm -hmm. that transition. And I happened to see her and she was in her very old age. And uh, she said to me with uh, urgency in her eyes that, you know, she said, Katya, no matter how unfair things are, how unfair life can be, you have to make your mark. You have to make your mark because that's what people are going to look to. It's going to give them hope. So my biggest message to anyone out there is you got a God-given dream that's in your heart to do. Um, you go and gear up, armor up, because it's going to be tough. <laughs> mm -hmm. And you go and pursue that dream and achieve it and make your mark, because it's not just for yourself, but it's for a lot of people that are around you that you have yet to meet or that you might never even meet, but they might get touched by what you're doing. So make your mark. Mm -hmm. That, that, I, I think you put that very well. So I, I really like to thank you for coming out here and spreading your message and telling everyone like what your life was and something, it may be something that someone wants to do with their life and be interested in, especially if they don't know what they want to do. Yeah. And I'd like to thank you, you listeners for watching. If you can see up here on the screen is Katya's website where you can buy her book and learn all about her and everything. And then right here are our, our socials. You can follow us on Instagram and Twitter. And please subscribe, uh, like and subscribe is always appreciated because it knows us that you support us and it knows the people that are also on this show that you support them and support what they're doing. So thank you for watching and thank you uh, Katya for coming out here. See you later.